The United States Special Forces are among the most powerful and well-prepared on the planet. Their missions have even inspired movies that seem unreal despite being based on real events. However, none of these feats would be possible without the constant cooperation of an ally in the skies, the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, better known by their nickname, the Night Stalkers. These nocturnal marauders are the most effective helicopter pilots on the planet. Regardless of the location or how dangerous it is, they will fulfill their mission at any cost. That's why it was necessary to dedicate a video analyzing not only their history but also the most impactful operations carried out by the regiment. Join us in getting to know the legendary Night Stalkers. The lineage of this powerful regiment can be traced back to World War II and the subsequent Korean War, during which American troops were supported by special air squadrons designated to protect high-risk operations. Vietnam was a turning point in the history of American helicopter pilots. During that conflict, the 129th Assault Helicopter Company was formed, and among its missions was to support special forces. Its mission was to move troops and equipment in enemy-controlled areas and provide fire protection for special forces insertion missions. After the war in Southeast Asia, it became clear that the United States needed an elite airborne troop. In October 1981, the 160th Aviation Battalion was officially activated, composed largely of personnel from the 101st Airborne Division, considered in Washington as the unit with the most experience in high-risk activities across the entire force. In May 1990, the unit evolved and was designated as the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, or SOAR, in May 1990. The regiment had its baptism of fire in 1983 during Operation Urgent Fury, a fitting name for a military invasion in Grenada. A combination of powerful OH-6 and MH-60 helicopters from the SOAR were brought to the action zone by Air Force planes. The OH-6 not only were the first to engage in combat but also participated in the evacuation of injured Marines. However, in their first assignment, the team had to face a mission that could have ended in a historic and very embarrassing tragedy. The SOAR was tasked with transporting Delta Force operators who were to take the Richmond Hill prison in the capital of Grenada. The plan dictated that the operation would take place at night, but a last-minute change resulted in nine MH-60 helicopters having to traverse the skies in the early morning hours, with an alert enemy responding with anti-aircraft fire. The two attempts to assault the prison failed, and the commando team had to withdraw with several wounded on board and some helicopters damaged. Such was the failure that one of the MH-60s was forced to make an emergency landing. The first chapter in the history of the Night Stalkers was indeed very unpromising. To add more complications, on this first assignment, the Special Operations Aviation Regiment was completely exposed by photographs and videos of the helicopter fleets. The Department of Defense tried to conceal those images to keep one of its best tactical tools secret, however, it was like covering the sun with their hands, the world was introduced to the elite helicopter team for the first time. This failed introduction would end up being merely anecdotal after the incredible missions carried out by the regiment in December 1989, in the Panamanian skies. Operation Just Cause was a military invasion carried out by the United States in Panamanian territory with the aim of overthrowing the dictator and former CIA ally, Manuel Noriega. For this purpose, 9 MH6 helicopters, 11 AH6Gs, and 19 UH60As were assigned departing from Hangar 3 at Howard Air Force Base. In fact, the helicopter pilots were a kind of spearhead in the invasion because, before it was launched, two MH6S landed at Takuman International Airport to insert combat controllers, while four AH6S attacked nearby Army barracks. These images were captured in those turbulent days of December. Within that extensive campaign, another mission of greater precision and mortal danger was carried out, Operation Acid Gambit. Four months, 
The model prison of Panama had been the home of Kurt News, a CIA collaborator who was taken prisoner by Manuel Noriega. His release was a political priority, Washington could not allow the execution of one of its citizens before the eyes of the world. The problem was that the prison was very well guarded, so the task was assigned to the Delta Force and the Night Stalkers. On the night of December 20, 1989, the Night Stalkers MH6 Little Birds dropped off 23 Delta Force operators on the roof of the prison. From the window of his cell, News noticed strange movements in the city. The Look my window. Look across the street. I guess headquarters building is blacked out. Sandbags everywhere. Um, everybody's loaded for bear. Everybody knows that something's going to happen soon. The commandos managed to complete the rescue and take Kurt Muse out of his cell, but when they took off to escape, Panamanian soldiers opened fire with anti-aircraft weapons. The Night Stalkers had to fly through a hail of bullets, and the unit carrying Muse had to make an emergency landing. The team took refuge in a building, responding to the hostilities of the Panamanian army until a transport group could rescue them and finally take them to a safe place. In total, the rescue operation lasted only six minutes, that's the level of precision these soldiers operate with. Such a standard of excellence would not be possible without the mechanical beasts that the pilots have at their service. The history of the Night Stalkers cannot be told without mentioning the air units they often employ. In total, the pilots have 190 helicopters with various uses and capabilities. Among the most prominent models is the Boeing CH-47 Chinook, with over 70 units available within the Night Stalker fleet. It is a twin-engine heavy-lift cargo helicopter with tandem rotors and a maximum speed of approximately 315 km per hour, placing it ahead of almost all contemporary utility and attack helicopters. A testament to its power is that it is one of the few aircraft designed in the 1960s that is still in service. Another essential unit is the UH-60, better known by the name Black Hawk, one of the most well-known elements in the entire American fleet. The Black Hawk is a medium-lift military utility helicopter that uses a four-blade rotor. Since entering service in the late 1970s, the UH-60s have become a fundamental part of American power projection, with a range of almost 600 kilometers and the ability to be armed with 7.62 and 12.7 millimeter machine guns as well as rockets and missiles. The 21st century opened a new chapter for the 160th Regiment. During the well-known War on Terrorism, the Night Stalkers broke all their operational records, carrying out successful missions in various parts of the world. In one of them, pilot Greg Coker had a unique experience. In March 2004, Coker was flying over Baghdad aboard his AH-6 Little Bird when a sudden explosion surprised him in mid-flight. In a southwestern direction and boom, this freaking giant explosion. And I was like, holy crap. The aircraft sh started sh shaking and my co-pilot in the left seat said, uh, it was about a one meter long he said it was a white hot rod went right by my head. It was an SA-16, shoulder launch, you know, IR seeker. Best way I can explain it is that my world went frame by frame by frame, like a movie reel. Mm -hmm. You know, if you were just to look at those, it just went click, click, click. Everything slowed down. A little bird. The little bird crashed to the ground with huge fuel and ammunition losses that were firing on their own, an ideal recipe for disaster. Luckily, Coker survived, and by sheer chance, he was immediately found by a Delta Force reconnaissance team. Injured but furious, Coker headed with his comrades to the area from which the shot that brought him down originated. The pilot remembers that, despite the physical injuries from the forced landing, adrenaline and survival instinct kept his body functioning to complete the revenge mission. After intense gunfire, the soldiers killed the insurgent and captured the anti-aircraft weapons used in the attack. Instant karma for the terrorist. Currently, the Night Stalkers continue to be a key component in all special operations carried out by the Navy SEALs and Delta Force.
Without these Sky Commanders, it would not be possible to accomplish the feats that surprise us every day. Whether under the desert sun or in the moonlight, these pilots are willing to do whatever it takes to uphold the slogan that characterizes their regiment, the Night Stalkers don't quit. That brings us to the end of this video. If you want to continue learning in depth about some of the most powerful special units on the planet, we invite you to subscribe and activate notifications. For now, we bid farewell until the next installment of Military Aviation.